Hey guys, iX7 here, and this is episode 4 of Windows 7 Tips and Tricks. In this episode, I will be teaching you guys how to enable custom themes for Windows 7. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is download um, these two files from the link below. The first one is the actual uh, Windows theme patcher, and the other one is take ownership rule talk uh, more about that later on the video so just extract the universal theme patcher okay just like that and then you can just put this off to the side or delete it you don't need it anymore so just uh, open up this folder and now you will see these two files here well this is very important you want to find out if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system to find out what um, bit you have, just go to your start orb, right click on your computer, click properties. And then it should say right next to system type, 32 bit or 64 bit. In this case, I have a 32 bit operating system. So go to um, whichever operating system bit you have, right click and run as administrator. Select OK. Now click yes. And then just click patch on all three of these buttons. And once you've done that, a dialog box should pop up asking you to restart your computer. Just save this video somewhere and restart, then come right back. And uh, you have successfully um, patched your Windows 7 um, operating system. So ne the next thing you'll need to do is actually um, get the theme that you want. So I'm just going to put this up to the side real quick. Okay, so get the actual theme that you want. Um, there's a website here called DeviantArt. It's my favorite site to get um, themes. So you can just look at this website to find a theme. And I'm just going to use this theme here. It's called Soft7. And I'll leave a link um, to this um, theme below if you want. So I already have it downloaded right here. I'm just going to extract it um, to my desktop. And now we don't need this file anymore, so we can just delete it, or you can keep it if you want. And then if you open it up, um, you should see something like this, or you'll see just these. Well, um, you just want to go find the theme files, and then just highlight these two, and right click, and select cut. Now go to your Windows um, Orb, click computer. And then C drive, Windows, uh, resources, and then themes. And then just paste it right here. I'm not going to do that because I have already done that. So now just go right click on your desktop, select personalize, scroll down, and you should see it right here under install themes. And uh, if you want to install the system file, this is where the take ownership um, comes from. Oh, it comes in. So choose whatever bit you have. I have 32 bit. Right click and then cut. Okay. Uh, so now you just want to download this from the link below and then just um, go to install take ownership. Just double click on that and then click yes and then okay. Now once you have done that, you can delete this or put it off to the side. And then go to Computer, C Drive, Windows. Now just go to System 32. Scroll down until you find the explorerframe.dll file, which should be around here somewhere. Uh, let's see, it's right here. Okay. And you just want to right click, select take ownership, and then rename it to dot old, and then just paste in the new DLL right here. So then just restart your computer, log off or whatever, and then your um, system file should be installed. So as, as you can see, I've successfully done that. 
And that is basically it for this video. If this video was helpful for you in any way, please rate, um, I mean, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.